Okay, today I'm gonna to talk about how to raise money for your first real estate project. And I'm gonna talk about, you got single family, you got a multifamily property, it really doesn't matter. What really matters is how much you gotta raise. But let's assume that you know, you're know you buying a, a small property and you need to go raise the down payment 20 or 30%, right? So you're buying a property that's worth $200,000 and you wanna go raise the down payment, which is, say it's 30%, so you gotta go raise $60,000. Maybe the down payment is 25%, but you need an extra 5% for closing costs, a little bit of money in the account, so you can go ahead and start the construction if you're gonna do a rehab on it, which I'm assuming you would, okay? So what do you do? What is the first thing you do? Number one, you start letting everybody know on social media that you're, you're buying real estate. That's rule number one, even before you have a project. You start letting everybody know you are buying real estate, right? Just It might take you a month to get your first deal. It might take you six months to get your first deal. But from day one, and don't tell anybody, hey, I'm thinking about getting into real estate or I'm thinking about buying multifamily. Don't tell anybody you're thinking. You, you need to say, hey, I'm doing, right? Hey, I'm buying houses. I'm buying apartment buildings. I'm buying whatever it is you want to buy. You start telling everybody from day one what you are buying. Everybody. Everybody you go, everybody you meet, your friends, family, if you go to um, events, you go to uh, religious events, uh, you volunteer, you start telling everybody what you are doing, okay? So everybody that you know, let them know that you are buying real estate. Now, number two, make sure you have their contact information. Ideally, their cell number. If you can have their email, even better. So everybody you connect with, try to make sure you have your email, you have their email and you have their cell number. All right, so you have, you're telling everybody you know that you're raising money. Number two is you have their phone number and you have their email. So what happens now, you got a project and you need $60,000, okay? First thing you do is you start telling everybody, not really, well you could do it on social media, now check with your attorney, okay, because there's right ways and there's wrong ways of raising money. You can't go on social media and say, hey, I need somebody to give me money. It's not doesn't work that way. You can say, hey, I need a partner. Can, I need, I'm looking for a partner that can bring in $60,000 and we can buy a property together. That's a little bit different than saying, hey, I need to raise money and from four or five different people, okay? But I would still contact an attorney, somebody who knows in your state all the laws on how to raise money. I see it on social media done wrong all the time. But before you place it on social media, what I would do is I would actually place on social media saying, hey, look, check it out. I got this contract. I'm going to buy this property. And this, this is what the numbers look like, right? I'm going to buy it for 200 grand. I'm going to put 50 grand in it and it's worth 350 grand, right? So there's a potential profit of X amount of dollars and I'm super excited, right? You start telling everybody you're doing that. And then I start sending text messages. I start making phone calls. I start sending emails. There's a lot of softwares out there you can buy and some, a lot of them are free to a certain limit to where you can actually put all those contacts in and all you gotta do is send one email, right? Maybe you have 20 contacts, you have 50 contacts, you have 500 contacts, you put them on this software online, all the phone numbers, all their emails, and you say, hey, how you doing? This is Javier, I just got a property under contract, I am actually looking for a partner, I need $60,000 so we can close on this project and this is the returns you're gonna make, right? What kind of returns does that investor need to make? I don't really know. Hopefully you've spoken to them about real estate and you've asked them what kind of returns they're getting right now on their 401k, on the stock market or anything anywhere else, they put their money. Some are getting 5%, some are getting 8%, some people are getting 50%, I have no idea, right? So the folks that are getting 50% of the money, that's gonna be the most expensive money. But you wanna talk to people that are happy between six to 12%, it's a huge range, but ideally eight to 10% would be a good number. I mean, of course, the, the less you gotta pay for your money, the more money you're gonna make. But if you got a good deal, it doesn't really matter what you pay for your money. So what you tell them is like, hey, I need $60,000 to close on this project and I'm willing to pay 8% interest for six months, uh, split the profits 50-50, whatever it is that you need to do, that's what you let them know on that text message or that email and you can just blast it out to everybody. And let's see how many people reach out. Some people may have 10, some people may have 30, some people may have a whole 60. When you start grouping different money together, that's a totally different ball game. Ideally, you wanna get it from one person so you don't get in trouble legally when you're raising money. And these are people you know already and trust, so you can raise money from them. 
hopefully you get that money from that first text or that from that first email. If you don't, then I start putting on social media saying, hey, I need a partner, but make sure you check with your attorney how you're gonna word this so you don't get in trouble and you can't put it on social media if you're trying to raise some money for one of your projects. The only issue is if you start raising from multiple people, it's a totally different ball game, okay? It's easier to raise money from one person or if you happen to raise from two or three different people, as their partners, active partners, it might not be as challenging, but like I'm saying for the fifth time, reach out to somebody that knows about raising capital and the project that you have is project-based. It's all about how you word it and who you tell and where you place it. It's a lot of things that, can, that I've seen that are bad on social media when people are asking for money. Ideally, your email list, your text message, the ones you call, people that you know, if you got a good project and you've been telling them that you've been, you're gonna buy real estate and you have a good plan, say, hey, look, we're gonna buy it. Here's my quotes from my contractor. It's gonna be you know, 50K to rehab and you know, it's gonna be 20K to carry and sell. We're gonna profit $60,000, $70,000 and this is how you're gonna make your, your percentage on your money, right? They might say, hey, I want half of that or hey, I want more money. That's really up to you what you can negotiate. Somebody told me one day, you don't get what you deserve, you, you get what you negotiate, right? So you really gotta negotiate and find out you know, what that person giving you the money um, wants, right? It all depends what that investor wants in return for that money, okay? So that's a good way to raise money for your first project. Now you are gonna get a loan for the first amount for the $140,000 loan, right? If you need a 30% down, let's just say, or 25% down, you're gonna get $150,000 loan. When they come in, they're gonna come in as a partner. It's really hard sometimes for them to come in in a second position because the first lender will not allow a second position. They might allow a second, a second position on the house, like a, like a second uh, lien on it, I guess you could say. But some banks don't do that, so you gotta make sure you explain to your investor that they can't have a second position on the property. They're gonna come in as a partner, and they come in as a partner, they're gonna get paid X percent on their money. So they gotta be okay with that and the bank will be okay with that as well because sometimes you know, a bank won't let you borrow the money, the down payment. They're not gonna ask you, they're gonna ask you, where's the money coming from? Oh, I got this partner, he's gonna give me the 50, 60K and we're gonna partner on this together. And the bank is okay with that, even if you don't have the money in the bank to show the lender that you can close on it. So it's a lot of moving parts, but it is doable. It's actually not as hard as you think. Just start networking right now, start telling everybody you're buying real estate. You are buying real estate, none of this. I am looking to buy real estate, okay? Good luck, let me know how it works out.